know good and well that someday there could be a government in power that is shipping its citizens off for disagreements. There are laws on the books now that characterize who might be a terrorist. Someone missing fingers on their hands is a suspect, according to the Department of Justice. Someone who has guns, someone who has ammunition that is weatherproofed, someone who has more than seven days of food in their house can be considered a potential terrorist. If you are suspected by these activities, do you want to have the government have the ability to send you to Guantanamo Bay for indefinite detention? A suspect. We're not talking about someone who has been tried and found guilty. We're talking about someone suspected of activities. But some of the things that make you suspicious of terrorism are having food, having more than seven days of food, missing fingers on your hand, having ammunition, having weatherproofed ammunition, having several guns at your house. Is that enough? Are you willing to sacrifice your freedom for liberty? I would argue that we should strike these detainee provisions from this bill because we are giving up our liberty. We are giving up our, the constitutional right to have due process before we're sent to a prison. This is very important. I think this is a constitutional liberty we should not look at and uh, blithely sign away to the executive power or to the military. So I would call for support of the amendment that will strike the provisions on keeping detainees indefinitely particularly the fact that we could now for the first time send American citizens to prisons abroad. I think that is a grave danger to our constitutional liberty and I advise a vote to strike these provisions from the bill. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield back my time.